Welcome. This is 49G3 and we're going to talk about force, field, potential energy and potential in a non-uniform electric field. So let's visualize this. Um, okay, imagine we have two positive, uh, two charges, one positive, one negative. This is a very common uh, first approach. It uh, basically enables us to use analogies such as the um, analogies such as the um, um, planets, Earth and the Moon, etc. Um, but not all non-uniform fields are like this. So this is a visualization. If I imagine it in the geographical terms, I can see that the positive is like a volcano and the negative is like a sinkhole. And uh, I have contour lines in blue. And these are basically like, uh, uh, these are voltage lines, which are like contour lines on a map. And then I have paths, which will be formed by rolling boulders from the top of the volcano into the sinkhole and these are analogous to uh, electrical field lines a positive charge follows the field lines if I look from above I can see this what, what hopefully will become a familiar pattern of uh, electric field lines between a positive and a negative charge the same rules that we learned before for uniform fields apply. So if we start with electric field and we multiply that by, uh, say, the charge that's put into the electric field, I can figure out the force on that charge. And if that force moves through a certain displacement, then I can figure out the change in potential energy. So because it's a non-uniform field, I have the integral of f dot ds. And if I want to bring things down into their more fundamental terms, I can say the change in potential energy is equal to the integral of q e dot ds. Well, the change in potential is the change of potential energy per unit charge. So if I divide this change in potential energy by Q, I get my delta V, my change in potential, equals the integral of E dot ds. It's the same pattern exactly as I used with uh, um, uniform fields, except that because the field is not uniform, I have to do integrations. Let's look at an example. Um, this is an example. Uh, let's first of all visualize it. An electric field E is related to displacement R by this relationship. What is the change in electric potential in moving a point of interest from two to eight meters? So let's 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 visualize what this looks like. There's R, and this is my electric field. And you know we can we can bong some numbers in when R is zero. This is at negative infinity, so it's way down here. And when R is 1, this is at minus 6. So if this is 1, this is at dot, 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 dot. This is at minus 6. And when R is 2, that becomes 4. Minus 6 over 4 is minus 1.5. So when that's 2, this is minus, there's <laughs> minus 1. And there's minus 2, so we're somewhere like that. And then if R was 3, that would be minus 6 over 9, which is minus 2 thirds. So at 3, we're at minus 2 thirds. And we can see that this thing looks like this. Okay. Um, and we're trying to find the uh, change in potential when we go from a point which is two meters away there to a point which is eight meters away now this is the change in potential energy so that is my delta u and 
my delta v would equal that over q. Well, if I think about my quadrant, keep going back to the quadrant, e, we have qe, f equals qe, f equals the integral of, uh, sorry, <laughs> delta u equals the integral of f dotted with d. So delta u equals the integral of qe dotted with d. And therefore delta v equals the integral of e dotted with d. Okay, so I can say, oh, delta v is equal to the integral of e dotted with d. Equal to, I wrote f here, but this is e is equal to minus 6 over r squared. So, delta v is equal to the integral of minus 6 over r squared. And rather than d, let's put down dr. So then I turn around and say, oh, in that case then delta v is equal to minus 6 integral 1 over r squared dr. So delta v is equal to minus 6 and this is going to be minus 1 over r and this is going to go from uh, let's see 2 to 8 so I get delta v is equal to minus 6 minus 1 over 8 minus minus 1 over 2 so this is going to equal minus 6 times uh, minus minus x plus so that's plus a half which is 4 over 8 minus 1 over 8 which equals 3 over 8 oh, forgot my minus 6 times minus 6 so delta v is equal to minus 18 over 8 which equals minus 2.25 volts. So minus 2.25 volts. Let's have a look at our diagram. Well this is this is my delta v and it's negative so that seems to make sense. So there we have it.